Deep beneath the waves, China is building something unprecedented. An underwater space station buried 2,000 meters beneath the South China Sea. This isn't science fiction, it's a game-changing deep-sea research facility set to be operational by 2030. Why does this matter? Because it could unlock new energy sources, reveal uncharted ecosystems, and shift global power dynamics in one of the world's most contested regions. This station isn't just about exploration, it's about strategic dominance and the future of deep-sea science. Let's dive into what makes this project so groundbreaking and what it means for the world. China's deep sea research station isn't just another underwater lab. It's a technological marvel designed to push the boundaries of marine science. At 2,000 meters below the surface, where crushing pressure and complete darkness dominate, this station will function as a fully operational base for scientific exploration. But what exactly will it study, and how will it survive in one of Earth's most extreme environments? One of its primary missions is to explore cold seep ecosystems, which are deep-sea environments where methane-rich fluids seep from the ocean floor. These ecosystems host unique bacteria and deep-sea organisms that thrive without sunlight, some of which may hold medical and biotechnological potential. Scientists believe these life forms could help us understand extreme survival mechanisms and even contribute to pharmaceutical advancements. But there's more at stake. Methane hydrates, also called flammable ice, are buried beneath the seabed in massive quantities. With China's deposits estimated at around 70 billion tons, this resource could be a game-changer for global energy markets. The station will study the potential of safely extracting these methane hydrates, which could one day replace traditional fossil fuels. Operating at such extreme depths requires advanced technology. The station will feature a long-term life support system allowing six scientists to live and work for up to a month in an enclosed environment. Unmanned submersibles and seabed observatories enabling 24-7 monitoring of deep sea conditions. A fiber optic communication network allowing seamless data transfer between the station and surface research ships. An integrated surveillance system creating a four-dimensional observation network that tracks tectonic activity, marine life, and methane emissions in real time. What makes this even more intriguing is the power source, which remains classified. Experts speculate that it could be nuclear-powered, similar to past deep-sea research stations like Russia's AS-12 Lasharik and America's NR-1, both of which used nuclear energy to sustain long-term missions underwater. The South China Sea is more than a hotspot for territorial disputes. It's one of the most resource-rich regions on the planet. Beneath its seafloor lies a treasure trove of energy reserves, including vast deposits of methane hydrates, sometimes called the energy of the future. China's deep sea research station is positioned to study and potentially extract these deposits, marking a huge step in securing future energy dominance. Methane hydrates are naturally occurring ice-like substances composed of methane trapped in water molecules. When extracted and converted into gas, they can be used as an alternative fuel, possibly replacing oil and natural gas. The deposits in the South China Sea alone could fuel China's energy demands for decades, reducing dependence on imports and reshaping global energy markets. However, methane extraction is still experimental. Improper handling could lead to uncontrolled methane release, accelerating climate change. That's why China's research in this field is being closely watched by energy experts worldwide. But the resources go beyond energy. The deep sea floor is rich in rare minerals such as cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements, essential materials for batteries, electronics, and renewable energy technologies. The mineral concentrations found in these underwater deposits are estimated to be three times higher than those in land-based mines. This means that if deep-sea mining technology advances, China could gain unprecedented access to critical raw materials, further strengthening its position in global tech industries. China's deep-sea station will also play a crucial role in marine biodiversity research. Over 600 unique species have been discovered in the cold seep zones, some of which produce enzymes with potential applications in medicine, particularly cancer research. Studying these species could lead to groundbreaking pharmaceutical discoveries, adding another layer of importance to this facility. The station will also help monitor tectonic activity, 
the South China Sea is a geologically active region prone to earthquakes and tsunamis. By deploying advanced monitoring systems, China could improve early warning mechanisms for natural disasters, benefiting not just itself, but the entire region. Placing this deep-sea research station in the South China Sea isn't just a scientific choice, it's a strategic one. This region is one of the most contested maritime zones in the world, with overlapping claims from China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Brunei. The construction of a permanent underwater base gives China a major advantage in reinforcing its territorial claims this move is reminiscent of Russia's Arctic seabed surveys, where Moscow used deep-sea research as a justification for extending its Arctic territorial claims. China is following a similar playbook. Establish a long-term scientific presence, justify sovereignty claims, and gradually expand its influence over disputed waters. The facility could also serve dual purposes, not just scientific research but also military applications. Deep sea stations can be used for underwater surveillance, submarine detection and even advanced sonar systems, giving China an upper hand in maritime security. This has raised alarms in the United States and among China's regional rivals, who see this as an attempt to dominate the South China Sea both scientifically and militarily. The US and its allies have been actively countering China's influence in the region. The U.S. Navy frequently conducts freedom of navigation operations to challenge China's territorial claims, and regional players like Japan, Australia, and India have strengthened their military ties to push back against China's growing maritime presence. The question is, will China's deep sea station escalate tensions further? Another critical factor is China's expansion of its deep sea infrastructure. The station will work in conjunction with China's deep sea drilling ship, the Mengzhong allowing China to explore even deeper into Earth's mantle. The seabed fiber optic network will enable real-time monitoring not just for research, but also for potential naval surveillance operations. From an international perspective, China's control over deep sea resources could disrupt existing global supply chains. If China gains an edge in methane hydrate extraction and rare mineral mining, it could dictate the future of energy and technology markets. China's ambitious plan to construct a deep-sea research station 2,000 meters beneath the South China Sea represents a monumental leap in marine science, energy exploration, and geopolitical strategy. This facility promises to unlock new scientific knowledge, tap into vast energy and mineral resources, and potentially reshape regional power dynamics. As the project progresses toward its 2030 operational goal, the world will be watching closely eager to understand the profound implications of this underwater space station. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.